Hey guys, so I don't have too much to talk about today, but I do have a little bit of news for PlayStation VR, PC VR, and external VR systems. The third party stuff, blah, blah. All that stuff you can find as usual in the timestamps over here to my right. And if, if there's anything in particular you wanna see, just, you know, track to that point in the video and, you know, just, Start that baby up and keep going, I guess. So, some of you may remember Akron, Attack of the Squirrels, which debuted last year during E3. One of the biggest takeaways from that game was that you would be able to play couch co-op split between you and your friends, but while one of you is wearing the headset, everybody else would be using their smartphones in order to play. Now, you can either play in covert, you can either play as the, as the hacker or as the thief. If you're playing as the thief, then you'll be playing, you'll, you'll be the one in the headset. Whereas the hacker is gonna be the one on the outside using, using their phone to break into all of these high security terminals. While it's geared more towards couch co-op, online play is also possible. All that being said, it's currently rated at 4.1 out of 5 stars on the Oculus Go. And like I said, it's expected to launch excuse me, on PlayStation VR on the 25th of February. So hopefully, those of you that do get the chance to try it and maybe play it for yourselves, should enjoy it when it launches next month. Now the next piece of news is some amazing stuff for those of you that bought the following game on the Oculus Store. And that is that Autica, the rhythm shooter which currently has an overwhelmingly positive consumer review rating, is launching on Quest next month. Alongside that Quest launch, it's also giving us Rift cross by meaning that if you bought it on the oculus store you only have to pay for it once and you have it for both systems i know exciting right i, I know i am hopefully you guys are as excited about it as i am it already has quite a few dlc songs available including five seconds of summer ariana grande billy ellish Imagine Dragons, and Post Malone's, just to name a few. And along with that, they they are all also planning a few more paid DLC songs. Some including uh, Churches, Lizzo, and Weekend, just to name a couple. But like I said, there's going to be plenty of options, only have to pay for it once, plenty of DLC, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, I'm going to enjoy it. I hope you do too. Now, the next piece of news I have for you guys isn't really amazing or great, but like, it, it's kind of like, woo! Okay, so one of the most hyped VR games of the year so far, Half-Life Alex, is not only is it on schedule for its March debut, but rather it's already done. There, There isn't really a whole lot of polishing left to do, and... While they can do a little bit more, probably, we don't have to really worry about it getting delayed any more than it already has been. So you guys can enjoy Half-Life 3 in whatever form this, this game may take. So personally, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you are too. And I look forward to seeing you guys somewhere out there in the world. Okay, now the next thing I do want to talk about is that VR Gear has put out their list of the top 20 best PlayStation VR games that you simply cannot miss. At the top of the list, you have my personal favorite, Beat Saber. Not only is it just $30, but it's it's got leaderboards, it's got rhythm, it's got music, it's got arm swinging, it's got fitness, it's got new DLC all the time. And right off the bat, you're getting free stuff all the friggin' time. It, it doesn't even matter whether you pay for the extra DLC or not, but you're still getting free stuff 
and free levels and all that all the time. So you don't have to really worry about whether or not you're going to be getting your money's worth when it comes to this game. And not only is not only is it a, a rhythm game with leaderboards and all that, but it's about a, a year and it's like 15 months old at this point, but it's still covering its bases. Next one, in spot number two, you have Moss. This one is an action platformer game where you guide your little mousy friend through a, a series of platforms so you can try to help his family or, or his world or whatever. All the while, this is a delightfully charming game that, well, the story itself, it, it's amazing and it gives you a chance to take a break from all the stresses of the outside world as you would expect from video games. Next one is Borderlands 2 in VR. This one is more... This more, one is more experience-based. Uh, this one's going to come in at about $50. However, it is more of an action shooter, as I'm sure you could probably guess from the Borderlands title. Uh, it's a first-person shooter, and not only that, but if I remember correctly, it I think it supports the aim controller, but don't quote me on that. Next up, you have Super Hot in VR. This one is $25. However, there is also the Super Hot Mind is Software bundle, which is going to run you $40. That bundle comes with not only the VR version, but the, the base console version. In, in so doing, I do have to g remind you guys that those versions are in fact different and will lead you through very different levels than one another. So just because you play through one doesn't mean you know all the levels of the other. Does that make sense? But in this one, time only moves when you move. Well, sort of. It, it moves significantly slower. You'll end up learning that when you practice and play through a few levels. But anyway, You are responsible for surviving all the way to the end when there's countless people trying to kill you. Thankfully, you are still able to stop time and manipulate things as you're going around. Provided you have the, uh, what's the word, reflexes to do so. So assuming you can think on your feet well enough to do it, then you'll make it through all the way to the end. Next up, we have Creed Rise to Glory. This one is the fighting game that every, every PlayStation VR owner must have. This one, well, as opposed to a standard fighting game like, I don't know, Tekken or Street Fighter or Soul Calibur, what, one of those games that you might have on your countertop. I, I don't know what you play. Uh, this one is, in fact, going to be entirely boxing, as you could probably guess. You know, based on the whole Creed thing. But this one not only has a, a story mode with difficulties, but has a multiplayer mode, which I've debuted on this channel previously. Personally, I enjoyed it. It was it was good to be able to get some live action from another player out there, people that actually enjoy more of a, a live action VR fighting game. So not only is it a good fighting game, but it gives you a good workout as well. So you'll be able to lose some weight. I, I, know, I know I need to lose some weight. Anyway, that one is going to fit your needs for the fighting genre. Next up, we have Firewall Zero Hour. This one is a must-have for any, well, for any looter enjoyer. It's a shooter game built from the ground up 
specifically for altered and virtual reality. And uh, it does take into consideration that you'll be using both the motion and the DualShock controller. However, the aim controller, which you might be able to see, no, no you can't. The aim controller is also compatible with this game and is preferred by the millions of players that are already playing this game. So you'll be able to enjoy the live VR virtual shooter aspect of this game should you enjoy, I, I don't know, shooting things. It's a must have for any people that actually enjoy shooters. Next up, we have Astrobot Rescue Mission. This one is going to run you $20, and it's going to be an exclusive for platforms, or for the PlayStation platform, and, you know, with this headset specifically. Sorry, uh, getting kind of tired. But I think that's enough. I've droned on long enough. This segment's about seven minutes long at this point. So I hope you guys enjoy this list and my voice and all that. So I think I will bid you guys a fond adieu.